To Hebrew Bible Secrets with your host Rabbi Jeremy Beaton, Chief Rabbi. We are reading today from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3. But first, I'd just like to show you the books that we'll be reading from today. So, the first book will be The Hidden Truths, Hebraic Study Scriptures, New Testament, New Covenant. And the second book for references will be The Hidden Truth, He Breaks Rolls Tanakh with Commentary. And also I suggest if you want to learn 
more about the Sabbath and the feast days and the prayers to get the Forever Israel Siddur Daily Living Prayers. Okay, so all of these books have been transliterated by Rabbi Salman Altaf Hakorin from the Hebrew to the English and you can purchase these books on Amazon. Okay, so without further ado, we shall go into 1 Corinthians chapter 3. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 1. 1. And I, brothers, could not speak to you as to spiritual ones, but as to worldly ones, even as to babies in Messiah. 2. I have fed ye with milk and not with meat, for you were not yet ready. In fact, you are still not ready. 3. For you are yet worldly, for whereas there is among you envy and strife and divisions, are you not worldly and walk as natural men? 4. For while one said, I am of Paulus, and another, I am of Apollos, are you not worldly? 5. Who then is Paulus, and who is Apollos? But servants by whom you believed, even as Yahweh gave to every man. 6. I have planted, Apollos watered, but Yahweh gave the increase. 7. So then, neither is he that plants anything, neither he that waters, but Yahweh that gives the increase. 8. Now he that plants and he that waters are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labour. 9. For we are labourers together with Yahweh. You are Elohim's husbandry. You are Yahweh's building. 10. According to the favour of Elohim, which is given to me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another builds thereon. But let every man take heed how he builds thereupon it. 11. For no other foundation can man lay than that is laid, which is Yahushua the Messiah. 12. Now if any man builds upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble. 13. Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. 14. If any man's work abides, which he has built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. 15. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be rescued, yet so as by fire. 16. Know you not that you are the Beth Hamikdash temple of Elohim, and that the Ruach spirit of Elohim dwells in you? 17. If any man defiles the Beth Hamidash temple of Yahweh, Yahweh shall destroy him, for the Beth Hamidash temple of Yahweh is set apart, which Beth Hamidash temple you are. 18. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seems to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Elohim. For it is written, He took the wise in their own craftiness. 20. And again, Yahweh knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. 21. Therefore, let no man glory in men, for all things are yours. 22. Whether Paulus or Apollos, or Kepha, or the world, 
or life or death or things present or things to come all are yours 23 and you are messiahs and messiah is elohim okay so that now brings us to the end of first corinthians chapter 3 so let's go back and have a look at some of the footnotes in first corinthians chapter 3 so the first footnote we have is in verse 13 every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it okay for the day so let's have a look at this for the day so we have here this is the day of judgment okay so this is the day of judgment okay so let's go to the next footnote which is in verse 16 know you not that you are the Beth Hamikdash temple of Elohim and that the Ruach spirit of Elohim dwells in you okay let's have a look at this dwells in you so the Shekinah glory of Yahweh works within us as it dwelt and manifested in the tent in the past okay let's read that again so the Shekinah glory of Yahweh works within us as it dwelled and manifested in the tent in the past Okay, so let's go to the next footnote, which is in verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Elohim, for it is written, He took the wise in their own craftiness. Okay, let's have a look at this. So it says here, quoted from Job 5 and 13. Okay, quoted from Job 5 and 13. So please have a look at Job 5 and 13. Okay, let's go to the next footnote, which is in verse 20. And again, Yahweh knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Okay, let's have a look at this. So, quoted from Psalm 94.11. Okay, Psalm 94.11. So have a look at Psalm 94.11. Okay, so that now brings us to the end of 1 Corinthians chapter 3. So I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you on the other side. This is Rabbi Jeremy Beaton, Chief Rabbi, saying thank you for watching and Shalom Shalom. Baruch Shiem, Kivod, Malkuto, Leolam Va'ed. Benevolent be the name of his esteemed kingdom, forever and ever and ever. Amen.